Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up VPN, client to gateway VPN using the Cisco client. This will work on the RV320 and the RV325 small business routers. First, we go to VPN, then we go client to gateway. We select easy VPN. We enter in the tunnel name. Now you must remember this tunnel name. You'll be using this in the Cisco client. Set up a password. We want to change this tunnel mode to split tunnel. This allows your internet traffic to go through your WAN connection versus going through or over, over the tunnel. Click save. Down below you'll see the new tunnel that you just created. If you wanted to edit the virtual IP range make sure it's not in the in your current subnet it must be different it can't be the same after you, you finish that you go to user management you click add you create a username here so test user I could spell create a password let's go test one two three four five six seven and leave the group set to unassigned click Save we are now done with the router configuration. Now we're going over to the Cisco client. Okay, at this point, we simply click the new, enter in connection entry, whatever you like to put here. You can put anything you want. We could put VPN, description, VPN to office, host. This will be the IP address, the location you're trying to connect to. On the group authentication, you type in the group that we created earlier I, I created a notepad here for us to just in case we forgot so test tunnel that goes here the password that we created for that particular tunnel confirm password hit save and we connect using the credentials it is case sensitive And now we're connected. If you look down below on the VPN client, we are connected. That is how you do a client to VPN connection to your Cisco RV320 or your RV325 router. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care. Creative Labs, iRaw. Oh. Plug it in like like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,